I'm driving again, uh, this time uh, going to the other border, the border with Canada. So I left uh, southwest Ohio and driving up to uh, Detroit and from Detroit crossing the bridge onto uh, Windsor, Canada. So let's check it out. See, the, uh, the next town uh, you would think would be pronounced Bellefontaine, but it's actually in proper Ohio and is pronounced Bellefontaine. And up ahead is the Neil Armstrong Space Museum. And I don't know if you can see that there, but it's actually like a little dome. And uh, this is in Wapakoneta, Ohio. And that is the birthplace of Neil Armstrong, first man on the moon. We are now in Finley, which is uh, known as Flag City, USA. Toledo, Ohio, so uh, I'm uh, one step closer to Michigan. So Detroit that way and Arbor that way, so we go that way. Alrighty, well I've been on the road for uh, the last about three and a half hours and it looks like uh, about to enter uh, the state of Michigan from Ohio, so We'll see if we see a little sign that says, Welcome to Michigan. Fort Grant. distance here, we can see the city of Detroit, Michigan. And over there, we can actually see the bridge. So, uh, let's see. We're going to cross the bridge. All trucks, all right over left lane. <laughs> this is like, it shouldn't be here. This, this road is all a mess. I guess they're redoing it or something. Oh, what am I going? Gas station. Custom thing to Canada. So, go. I'm going on the bridge. We're on the bridge. And uh, this crosses on to uh, Canada. Over there is Detroit. In front of me is Canada. You can see Canada kind of, kind of like that. So we are in Windsor, Canada. Where you gotta go through uh, immigration. And you need a passport now to get to Canada from the US. Well, this is Windsor, Canada. So um, I made it here. So now I'm not gonna find a hotel. Staying at the Hilton. Let's see if I can find it. Downtown Windsor. No, can't beat this view. Got Detroit, and I have Windsor. I'm gonna go down there and explore a little bit. Scene from uh, that movie, The Born Identity, where he has all this money from around the world in this uh, safe. I have here, I have Canadian dollars, I got Mexican pesos, and I have US dollars, so that's all in my wallet. That because I travel to Mexico next week and I'm in Canada, I came from the U.S. On the U.S. side you see the U.S. flags flying and if we cross over here, that's your Canadian flags. Looks like we uh, stumbled onto a little, uh, little festival here, so we're going to check this out. Got all of uh, Windsor's uh, restaurants. <laughs>
funny, uh, as I'm standing here with the U.S. on one side and Canada on the other one, I see that uh, the contrast between uh, the video I did in El Paso with the U.S.-Mexican border and now here with the U.S.-Canadian border. Um, I mean, there's really nothing here that would say, give, give a type of a barrier, while in uh, El Paso and uh, uh, New Mexico I saw you know, the big barbed wires and the, the armed guards and uh, the fences and everything. Uh, it's kind of sad, really. They have little life preservers in case uh, someone falls in the water.